Hello there boys and girls, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the Bibao Revival and we are here yet again, two games for you today, one in the Europa League and one in the league. Um, we've got a little bit of roundup, a little bit of catch up to do with uh, fixtures and also transfers um, but other than that, let's get straight into it. So regarding transfers, nothing really happened in transfer deadline day, as I said, we didn't really, uh, didn't really buy anybody, we didn't let anybody go. Even though people came in for Ika Munayin uh, on the left-hand side, um, but they weren't willing to meet his £40 million release clause, so decided not to let him go. So that is literally transfers done and dusted. I'm not bringing anybody else in. Uh, we are past the transfer deadline day, as you can see, we're on the 14th of September. And... Uh, yeah, it's, it's finished. So let's have a look at the roundup of where we were last time. So we were against Girona last time. We beat them 2-0. Munayin and Adriz scoring the goals in the uh, in the league game. We then um, went to Slavia Prague. Drew 2 all, Two really quick fire goals for us. And then two goals in two minutes for them. Made it a little bit nervy. But um, but we came through. It was a rotated side that I went out there with. Because I was 4-0 up after the first leg. So wasn't really going to take it seriously. We then followed that with Levante. Um, in the league, four two winners: Garcia, San Jose, Rico, and Interaspe scoring the goals for us. And then very very close game against Villarreal. Show you the stats on this one. Very very tight game. Thirteen shots to our six. Bit more possession than, than them, but the boys came through. Munayin's playing a fantastic game, um, but not getting player of the match unfortunately. Bruno with an eight point two, but Munayin for us our top player. So all in all, very very good from him. So where does that leave us in the league? That leaves us third. Three wins from three. Up there with Valencia and Real Madrid, who we played today in the second game. Um, so, season has started really, really well. Munayin, 8.33. That's why people are coming in for him and say, I'm trying to... If, if people want him, they can have him for 40 million, which is his release clause. But other than that, he isn't leaving at all. We do have a Europa League draw. We did that after the Sparta Prague game. And this is our group. We've got Atalanta, Victoria Plzen. Pilsen and FC Utrecht from uh, the Netherlands. I think a pretty straightforward group to be fair. We win our home games, we do enough at away and uh, we'll get through uh, get through either the group leaders or uh, in second place. And as I said, second game today is Real Madrid away from home in the Bernabeu. So very, very tough two games coming to us today. So this is going to be the team for today. We've got Kepper in goal. Uh, Balazega is back from his injury, which is good to see. We've got Martinez, San Jose and De Marcos at the back. It's Raspe and Benyat in the middle of midfield. Munayin on the left. Raul, Ga Raul Garcia in behind Adriz and Williams on the right. Let's get into this first game. I say Victoria Pilsen. I'm expecting us to, to beat them, really, to be fair. I'm not expecting anything else other than three points in this game in the Europa League. Um, and then hopefully we can rest some of the players for the upcoming game against Munich. Munich? Against Madrid. Um, coming in a few days' time. Fully expect a victory from this game. Said it passionately. Said it loudly. Hopefully the boys really go out there and take this really, really seriously. I don't want to go into match day three, match day four of the Europa League needing wins. Um, so we're going to get straight out of there. We are in our chain strip of black and white or black and red and uh, they are in their kind of looks like Crystal Palace colours, Victoria Pilsen. So hopefully we can uh, get three points from this game. First highlight though goes to, um, goes, goes to Pilsen and uh, it's Petzala into Ragnovic or Ragno out to the right, right winger but not going to get there. Kepa's going to get the ball back from DeMarcos and we're just going to keep the ball, play it out from the back, which is what we like to see. And uh, hopefully we can uh, we can start a uh, start an attack pretty for pretty pretty much straightforward. Munayi now on the left hand side, Raúl García into Benyat. Benyat can he shake off his mark? He goes over the top to Adriz, but can't get the uh, can't get the ball to drop quick enough. And uh, Kozak comes out and score and uh, scores. Kozak comes out and collects. Munayi now driving forward, lovely through ball to Adriz, and that is one nil. Ten minutes gone. Benyet tried to find him a few seconds ago. Couldn't get there. Munayin, lovely through ball to the veteran striker. And that's 1-0 to Bilbao. The keeper just launches this forward. Knocked down from Benyat to Munayin in a little bit of space. And sees the run of Adriz through the centre-backs. Lovely finish. 1-0 to Bilbao. DeMarcos with a throw-in. 15 minutes gone. Uh, if Ivan Sic is uh, on the right on the right hand side going to come forward and lovely ball out to Pedrella Pedrella now going to drive forward drive on this left hand side but comes out to uh, to his right back but doesn't get there Munayin nips in Adriz is uh, all alone takes a shot and uh, goes high and wide probably needs to hold on to that a little bit wait for the wingers to come on especially someone like Naki Williams got pace to burn down that right hand side um so yeah might need to have a look at 
Uh, Adri's is um, individual individual instructions and see if we can just get him to hold the ball up ever so slightly and just play it off because say he doesn't have the pace doesn't have the physical attributes that um that probably a younger striker does but that is going to see us through till half time bit of a drab first half we have had a majority of the shots pills then have come back into it atalanta are drawing with in their game let's just uh go to uh, the team talk assertive uh, you've got you played well, but there is a lot of room for improvement out there. Absolutely, there's a lot more to come from each and every one of them out on that pitch, and hopefully we can do the business in the second half. I'm going to have a look at the individual um, instruction for Adriz and just see if we can. He can't hold up the ball because of his advance forward. So um, let's just say shoot less often, and let's go out there and start the second half. Munoyin over a free kick, going to whip that ball in, trying to find people in the in the middle there. I think Raul Garcia is offside. Itaraspe had a, a little kind of cheeky shot there, but couldn't get it away. And uh, looking like we're going to struggle to get over the line here. 25 minutes to go. Might make some changes just to freshen things up, especially in the middle of uh, the middle of the park. Benyat's going to drop back because he can play that deep line playmaker. I'm going to bring Mikel Rico on. Um, the attacking three behind Adriz isn't the best they're not playing the best football so Williams is going to uh, society is going to come off from Williams and Garcia is going to come on or come off for uh, Aiga uh, we're going to make those three changes get a little bit more legs in the middle of midfield in behind uh, Adriz and hopefully we'll, uh, we'll we'll get a second goal uh, Aga now into Benya into Monain hits the bar just what I wanted just after those three changes were made I'm going to whip the ball in Evenshich out uh, from the corner from uh, Martinez and we're Huddled round them, and Benya has got the tackle in, and he's going to set Susayeta away on this right hand side. Can he get the? Uh, can he find the ball in? He can. Adriz is there and comes in on goal. I thought he'd missed it. I thought he hit the side netting. What a goal that was for Adriz. Kos, uh, Koziak couldn't get a, a firm hand to it, and uh, it's two 0 to Babao. It took me by surprise that one. I didn't think it went in. I thought it was one of the side netting goals, or one that looks like a side netting goal. Adriz on the volley. As I said, Koziak tried to palm it away. Couldn't get enough on it and he gets his second goal the veteran striker 2-0 to Bilbao now DeMarcos five minutes to go in this second half Munoyin driving forward on that left hand side out to Susayeta and he puts the icing on the cake 3-0 to Bilbao and those uh, those changes seem to have freshened things up in that middle of midfield um, and Susayeta makes it 3-0 DeMarcos just whips the ball across to Munoyin and he just drives forward here on that, on that right-hand side. Gets past the right winger. Whips it over to Susayeta. Heads it back from where it came from. 3-0 to Bilbao. Final few seconds. Ref will blow any minute now. And there we go. Final whistle's gone. What a display from Bilbao in the first game of the Europa League. Aritz Adriz scoring the brace ten, on the 10th minute and the 83rd minute. Getting the play of the match. 9.2 for him. And uh, things are going really, really well in this Bilbao save at the minute. Very pleased with how we're doing. But... We were up against one of the biggest sides, not just in Spain, but in the biggest sides in the world. Real Madrid at the Bernabeu. Let's see how good this squad actually is. Right, here we go then. Madrid Bilbao. Massive, massive game. Sticking with the same side that won in Pilsen in three, day, well, three days ago, really. Just gave them all a rest. A couple of days rest, and it, they get them back onto about 94%, 95%, which is what you need. And uh, yeah, we're just going to go straight into it. Not even going to go through our team. I want to see what Team Madrid are going to set out. Because they've had Champions League in between this and their previous game as well. So 4-4-2 from Madrid. Not a formation I, uh, I expected them to play, to be fair. Navas in goal. Nacho, Ramos, uh, Vallejo and Carvajal at the back. Isco and Bale on the wings. Cruz and Modric in the middle. Cristiano and Karim Benzema up top. On the bench, Kovacic, uh, Mayoral, Casemiro, Asensio. It's, it's just a good team, isn't it? It's just a good team. And we're going to have to be on our best here to be fair um got nothing to lose here we know we're we know how good we are let's go and show everyone what we're capable of um just end of the day i'm not expecting to win this game i'm expecting to actually get absolutely battered to be brutally honest if we come out of this game with absolutely any anything i will take it there's the league table valencia won on match day four um so they're four from four now only team that's got 100 percent record um, and then us and, Bill, us and uh, Madrid, as well as Atleti, are the only teams that haven't lost. Cruz now whipping the ball in. Carvajal, oh wow, what a chance that was for Danny Carvajal at the near post. He absolutely lamped it up and uh, should have at least hit the, hit the target. Benyat now with a free kick. He's got to get there before Cristiano because Cristiano will close that down. Goes back to San Jose. Martinez 
into uh, Balaz- uh, Balazinga, back to Munain, into Unteraspe. Good, good possession football here from the boys, but they're pressing us really, really high. Three players going after the after the ball there. Ronaldo's going to get that knock on to uh, Gareth Bale, driving forward. They're swapping wings. It looks like Bale and Isco, and uh, he comes back. Modric into Cruz. Can, can we get a tackling? No, we can't. Bale is going to whip that ball into Cristiano Ronaldo. Ronaldo scores. 1-0 to Madrid. Bale on a plate for Cristiano. And that came from a free kick. That just shows you how much um, how much pressure they were putting on us. Those, just, those, say, those three players in and around um, Inter Aspe. Um, when we gave the ball away, he went uh, he went along. Uh, but Cristiano, simple header. Always going to score that. 20 minutes gone. 1-0 to Madrid. And this is what we've got to put up with. This is what we're challenging against. People like Madrid and, and Barca. Modric, 2-0, 25 minutes, game over. Really, really is. Uh, Cruz with the corner. Got a knock on from Bale um, to his uh, ex-Spurs teammate and his current Madrid teammate. Here we go. Bale just knocks it on. Modric, 2-0. Yeah, I'm already going to say it. Game over, 25 minutes. Balazinga now into Monoyin. Monoyin going to get the ball up to Adriz, and he's going to going to run going to run Vallejo, but Vallejo does a really good job there. Just kind of stands him up and just takes the ball off him. Sergio Ramos now into Gareth Bale. Bale's going to drive forward and get the ball into Ronaldo's feet, and Bale again one two with Ronaldo. Ronaldo good tackle by uh, by good tackle by a defender. Isco into Ronaldo three nil. Half an hour gone. We are getting absolutely torn apart here in Madrid. And as I said, this is the challenge. This is why it's going to get even more difficult. Great tackle there by San Jose. Benzema on the outside. Goes to Isco. Isco just drills this ball in. Ronaldo's again not going to miss it. 3-0 to uh, Madrid. And uh, we're getting taught a lesson here. Cruz going to whip that ball in again. Modric is there. Ronaldo's there. 4-0 to Madrid. He's got a hat-trick within the first half. And we're getting destroyed here. We haven't even had a shot on target. Um, I can't believe it. I knew it was going to be bad. Didn't think it was going to be this bad. Ronaldo literally on the line, really, to be fair, just to tuck that away. And we've had our first shot on target. The boys behind us, behind the Adriz, aren't playing the best. Might look to change the shape up at half time. Martinez into Benya, into Garcia. And we get the ball out to Iñaki Williams. He, lovely ball over the top to Adriz. Can we get a goal before half time? Adriz is there, but that's a good save by uh, Kayla Navas. And uh, they get the ball clear five minutes before half time now. Wow. That was the toughest game of FM I've had pretty much all season long. That is crazy. Um, just to say, calm look. Show me something else in the second half. I'm not going to batter them too much. I'm going to switch it up to the 4-3-1-2. Um, who's had an awful game? Adroy's had an awful game, but that's not his fault. Monoyin. We'll keep Monoyin as the false nine. So that's what we're going to go out with in the second half. Hopefully, we can do the business. I'm not going to, I'm going to take get stuck in off. Go back out there. And let's get a little bit of pride in the second half. We've been absolutely battered for 45 minutes there. And it's horrendous. Madrid are good. I know they're good. It just shows how good they are and where we need to get to Isco. Out to Benzema. Back to Isco. Oh, just fires over from the uh, from the Spaniard there. But this is where we need to get to. This level of performance with all of our youngsters, with all of our players that we bring in. Uh, we need to rise above people like Madrid, Barcelona, and really see what we can do in this save for the next two, three, four seasons, however long this save goes on. Raul Garcia with a injury. Uh, 15 minutes to go. We're going to bring... Uh, Agaron, he will play up there. We're just going to fiddle around with the. I'm just going to take that return possession off. Be more expressive. Turn that on, and let's. So the first half, I think the first half killed it. Really, to be fair, game was over within about half an hour <laughs> when Ronaldo scored his third goal. And uh, if we can get a goal back, it'll be great. Um, got with that corner in Kovacic just gets the ball out, but only as far as Benya. Uh, Agaron is going to get this ball in. Finds Adjuriz into Batista. Into Adjuriz. That's close. We've come back into this second half a little bit. We've been a little bit more defensively, more sound. Whether they've taken their foot off the gas as well. That might be might be playing a part in it. But after four games, nine points on the board with a game against Madrid in the middle of all that. 4-0 winners for Madrid. Well deserved. Ronaldo, 9.6. Um, clinical. Absolutely clinical. Far from pleased with what I've seen. And uh, we go again. Wow, that was tough. That was really, really tough. And it just shows you the level of challenge that we've got in this Bilbao squad. Where we need to hit. What heights we need to hit to rival players like Ronaldo. 
where we need to rival teams like Madrid and Barcelona to get above them and hopefully win this club some silverware and the league before we leave. But we're going to come back pretty much straight after. We've got the big Basque derby coming up next um, against Real Sociedad and then we're going to bring you Atalanta at home in the Europa League, our second Europa League game. they That will be the next two games coming up in the next episode tomorrow. That's it for this episode. If you have enjoyed it, please do leave it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and you don't want to miss out on any more content coming forward on the channel today. Earlier on today, there was a, another FIFA video that dropped with the AC Milan save we've got over there. So if you haven't missed, if you've missed it, go out and check it out. And until next time, when we bring you the Basque Derby and Atalanta in the Europa League, I'll see you soon.